Okay. For a very long time now, I have not been able to get an angle, honestly, and it is very, very frustrating. Hello, you guys. What is going on? Okay. So... I know it's been quite, it's been a few Mondays. Let me disconnect from my Wi-Fi. Okay. I had to disconnect from my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi always has a way of making my videos appear very blurry and I don't like that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I will be starting in a second, you guys. I remember my last video was super duper blurry until I turned off the Wi-Fi. Mm -mm. Let's see. There we go. I'm trying to check out the quality on the TV there. Okay. All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my DIY face cream live for you guys, live for you guys to see. Uh, so I have, let me put it on the group chat that I, that the video started. <laughs> Cause I told everyone on the group chat that I'm coming, I'm just trying to set up my computer and all the stuff. Hey, mommy coffee. I should probably use a... I'm trying to use my ring light. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I always come on here and start acting like a crazy person. Like I didn't know I was going to come on live, right? <laughs> you guys, please excuse me. Let me, get, let me get the switch so I can turn on my ring light. So you guys can really see this recipe that I'm about to show you. coming you guys I'm looking for where is my ring light thingy oh my god this is exhausting Like two ring lights and for some reason I cannot find the switch to this one that I'm using right now. 
Let me check the room. Let me see if it's there. Okay. I'm guessing we're just gonna have to go with this one that I have. So your girl is mad hungry. Hi, O'Shea Brown. So this is just a hot mess. But then, every time I do a live video, it's a hot mess. So I guess we're all already used to that by now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. So I got this, I got this other ring light. So I'm trying to eat some cake. Look at me just standing over you guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. So I'm trying to put this light in so I can show you guys how to mix that face cream because it'll get dark in a few. <laughs> so. I want everyone to be able to see what I'm doing down there. Okay. Uh. So this is what your favorite YouTubers do. They pack light all over the place and you think the body is banging. But that's besides, we're not here to, we're not gonna do that today. Okay. So hi you guys, today I'm gonna be mixing my, my favorite uh, face cream. I think I have a video of that I was showing everyone the, the mixture i kind of like hi loy lovely i kind of like int int <laughs> i kind of like introduced the mixture but then i didn't really show how to mix it and today i will be showing you guys how to mix it mommy kids is you're not lying <laughs> i know right that's i mean yeah and I find that it's very easy for people to actually believe that, which is, I really, I don't, I don't know. Anywho, so I'm going to be mixing that face cream and I'm going to be showing you guys something else that you can do for your, for black hands and why I, why I think that you get black hands because one of the major issues that people have are of the extremities either the, their hands are a little darker or their feet are a little darker so it's just so I'm gonna show you guys how to deal with that today <sighs> just give me a minute here Okay. Okay. So for this face cream, the first thing that you will need, of course, is your cocoa butter pumice that I did talk about. So recently, I think quite a few people noticed that recently cocoa butter does not make the face cream with hydroquinone anymore. They will only make the ones that contain niacinamides for dark spots. And the other thing you will need is you're gonna need some vitamin C serum and a vitamin E oil. And you also, you will also need 
some collagen serum and i'm just saying this i'm still going to show you how i mix it and then you're, you're going to need a key ingredient which is your carotone which now that i think about it i completely forget for i completely forgot to bring the carotone <laughs> so i have to go find the carotone so meantime well while i'm why do people only try to call me when i'm trying to do a live video this is i don't like this it's annoying please if you're watching me don't call me please Ugh. <laughs> okay so i was just about to show you um the ingredients that i'm going to be using and also i'm just going to give you a snippet of the oil that i made mac is serious it's annoying and you try to do something that's the only time people try to call you like oh i see her on live let me just call her come on come on <sighs> It's water, you guys. It's water. I'm having my first, not even a meal because this is just dessert, but this is the first thing I've had since the day started. And it's cake. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, the first thing you need, of course, is a um, disinfected bowl. So, I already um, cleaned this bowl with alcohol. Okay. And then, you will also need an empty bowl to mix it in it. This is the empty bowl that I'm using. Oh, boy. And then you will need your vitamin E oil, like I said before. You will also need your Palmer's Anti-Dark Spot Fit Cream for all skin types. This one does not have hydroquinone. It has 5% niacinamide and it's written there hydroquinone free. When I finally invest in getting a good camera, then we will... We will not have an issue, you know, kind of like focusing on words. <laughs> and then I have the two, the um, Apovate tube right here. You guys, let me know if this is showing upside down. So I have the Apovate tube right here. Okay, I think it's, it's showing properly because I can see it on the TV. Apovate tube. I have two tubes actually, and I will tell you why I have two tubes. So I have Apovate, and then I have the light up tube, the pink one. And I will explain why there are two tubes. Meantime, I need the main ingredients, which is the Carotone Black Spot Corrector, which I don't have it because I was very prepared to do this life. I'll be back.
strange. Where is our Carol's home thingy? Guys, I cannot find my carrots home. And I need it. Oh, man. Guys, I'm sorry, I cannot find my carotone. So we're just gonna do this without it. But um, I will let you know when you have to add it. <sighs> anyway, we're just gonna have to do it without that. Okay, so you need a face cream. So this is a face cream that I'm going with. I'm a little, I'm sweating. This is a face cream that I'm going with, but you don't necessarily have to use this one. The other option that you can go with is Pond's face cream. So you can either use Pond's face cream or you can use your um, Cocoa Butter Palmas. I hate, I don't like when I'm short of something because it just throws me off completely. But we got this, okay. Mm, I have a little mask brush right here, which I'm going to use to measure, measure the ingredients and everything. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to measure my cocoa butter skin, um, Palma skin success. So let's see. It has retinol, 
um, niacinamide, which targets dark spot and discoloration. And oh, one more thing, niacinamide is very good for um, if if you have an oily face or an acne prone skin. Niacinamide is very very good for your skin. So if you want to make a mixture for your face, please always go with anything that has um, niacinamide. Mommy coffee. Yes, it is the the Caroton BSC. The little one is super tiny. It's just it's almost like this, but a little, but slightly taller. People use it a lot. Some people use it directly on the face, which is it's a big no no. I had, I'm just totally confused because I had two of those. I'm not quite sure what happened. And um, yes, so they're very good for dark spots. Before I go ahead, I'm gonna give you guys a disclaimer. I am not a professional. <laughs> when I say these people, people laugh a lot, but I mean it, I am not a professional. I, I am a professional guinea pig. I test everything. You guys have seen me on live testing things on my body. And then I tell you like, hey, okay, don't try this. This works. So this mixture that I'm making, if you try it and it works for you, it's all good. If it doesn't, if you see that it's not working for you, please stop immediately because it's a very strong mixture. Okay. And also, you anything that I show on this channel, if you want to try it, you are trying it at your own risk. <laughs> I, I just had to put that out there. I love this cocoa butter um, skin success. Not It's not cocoa butter, you guys. Excuse me. I don't know why I keep calling it cocoa butter. It's skin success palmas. Mm, it smells really good. It smells so good can stop okay I need to stop all right get it together man okay so I am going to make a quantity that will last for a week if you want to make too much of this please let it not surpass two weeks so I'm just gonna take one scoop like so so oh that's a lot that's a lot Okay, so this is a scoop that I've taken and I'm going to put it in here. Okay. So we have the scoop in there. I'm using this colored bowl because I want you guys to really see what I'm doing inside there. All right. So if I had the... If I had the carotone, this is a part where I was going to put a scoop of carotone as well, but I don't have it. I'm going to, I'm going to put it later. Okay. I'm so sorry, you guys. I, and I've been home the whole day. I really thought that I had some carotone somewhere. I would have rushed to the beauty supply store to get it. So the next thing that I'm going to add to make this cream, this face cream, a bleaching face cream. Because I want it to bleach my face. I, I don't want light in it. I, don't want, I want it to bleach my face, okay? You see all of this? I want it gone. Pronto. I want it out of my face immediately. All of this. I broke out during my period, so I need all of that gone. So I'm going to put... 10 drops of vitamin c this is my vitamin c i'm sorry the bottle looks beat up <laughs> so i'm gonna put 10 drops of my vitamin c in the mixture so we're gonna do that together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and then I'm going to put five drops of vitamin E oil in there. If I, I can figure out how to open it. You guys, I'm sorry. I need to take a bite. I'm hungry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. Five drops of vitamin E oil. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we're going to go with <clears throat> 10 drops of collagen serum. This is my collagen serum, but you can use any collagen serum that you have. You don't necessarily have to use this one. So we'll go with 10 drops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not a drop, that's just bubbles. Okay, so it was seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ooh, that was a big drop at the end, but that's okay. All right. So, before I continue, I'm going to tell you guys this. If you don't want to bleach your face, if you don't want your face to go like three shades lighter, you would stop here. That is after you've also put the carotone, you've put a little bit of carotone you will stop here you're gonna have a nice brightening lightening face cream it's not gonna be very strong it's not gonna bleach your face it's just gonna brighten your face like one shade hmm? but if you are like me and you just want to bleach your face and you want your face to be like extra extra shiny and you have all these intense dark spots and you don't have the time to do three weeks you simply <laughs> there's simply not just enough time to be patient to do three weeks this is what you would do this is not advisable but it's it's what i'm gonna do because i have to go somewhere and i need this thing to eat to start doing something <laughs> in the next two weeks so you would add your Apovate tube. Mm? Is it looking? Okay, it's upright. You will add your Apovate tube to the mixture. You will add one pump. It's not a pump because it doesn't have a pump. So you add one squeeze of Apovate tube. Now, Apovate tube is a steroid. Just so we're clear, I need to put that out there. Apovate tube is a major steroid. And you know how it is when you're using steroid. Stay out of the sun, wear sunscreen, use it only at night, and don't use it for more than one week. If you have, if you absolutely want to kill it, please don't do more than two weeks. I'm begging you because even on the pack, it says do not use for more than seven days. But if you just want to push it a little, you can push it for another week. That is it. Do not use it continuously for more than two weeks. So I'm going to press a little of this to turn this mixture into a bleaching cream, okay? And now if you don't want this because it's a steroid, but you still want it to brighten your face, this is where the other tube comes in. The light up tube, okay? So light up is a really really good brand i think this is a brand that is you know very very slept upon people don't really try to take it seriously until recently when people are realizing that oh light up is really good so this is the pink one i don't know whether it's looking upright or it's looking upside down i'm not sure so this is the pink one if you just want it to be if you just want your mixture to be simple um will this help with hyperpigmentation absolutely light up will help with hyperpigmentation um but still it it says here that it does not contain hydroquinone i know that it contains hydroquinone um it also oh wait it doesn't contain hydroquinone i'm sorry you guys these are one of the tubes that don't contain hydroquinone i remember i have a video of tubes that do not contain hydroquinone or um tubes that do not contain steroids so this one does not contain hydroquinone or steroid i'm not overly sure about the hydroquinone part 
but I am 100% positive that this does not contain steroids. If it contains anything, it'll be hydroquinone, but I doubt it, but I don't know, but okay. Move on, Sally, okay. So <laughs> this one has, it says it has B3, uh, alpha abutin, and it's specifically for dark spots. So this is a dark spot correcting cream um from the brand light up so if you don't want to use this steroids cream if you don't want to use this steroid right here which is apovate you can use this one light up mind you do not use both of them except you're like me who wants to overdo stuff but if your skin is overly sensitive pick one please do not use both of them but i'm gonna do it because i never follow the rules when it comes to certain things so yeah i'm gonna put one squeeze of light up right here a lead oh my god that's too much oh jesus okay you guys hold on so this is a little squeeze that i'm gonna put i don't know if you can see that but that is it that is the squeeze i'm putting in there you have to like really do it in small quantities okay that's the cover and then i'm gonna put a tiny squeeze of my apple vape of my apple vape as well this is a steroid you guys once again it contains clobetazole <clears throat> and it is very very strong um i'm yet to use it yeah try that light up it's really good so i'm gonna put a little squeeze of this steroid tube in there you don't have to do this you guys you really don't so that is the squeeze i'm putting so how do you know this is original the original one has a very peachy kind of tone it looks a little pinkish but it's not i don't think you can see it over the screen so this is all what i'm using that that is even too much that's what i'm using come off jesus okay that is it for this mixture what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna really mix it in there in the container like that mix 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 okay my leg is starting to cramp up so just mix that mix that mix that and then later i'm gonna get my carotone and i'm gonna put a scoop of carotone so this is the total quantity so I'm gonna put like three, quant three quarter of this quantity of carotone in there. So I'm gonna use this for the next, um, I'm gonna use this for the next two weeks. Mm, it smells so good. <laughs> okay, so into my little thing. I'm, I'm kind of torn if I should put it in this little thing or if I should put it in this big thing. But because it's so tiny, I think I know where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to put it in this little thing right here. Because that's okay for a face cream, right? So I'm going to put that in there. So when I have... When after this live... I'm gonna try to finish early because the beauty supply store closes at about 7 30. so after this life i'm gonna go get my carotone and um i will put it on there is there another stereotype if i can't get apple does this not work uh so honestly i don't know if another face i don't know if another tube that can steroid tube that is good for your face i would say a epidem cream epidem tube because it's not very harsh it's mild but at the same time it works and it has steroid in it but it's really good 
that is what i advise people to use for their private parts to bleach their private areas like their lady parts and the butt and the 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 space between your lady parts and your your butthole <laughs> okay so there you have it cream mm -mm -mm -mm. this is a little face cream that we have made today i will have to add so the reason why i said to stop after two weeks is you will destroy your skin it doesn't stop working it will overly work it will work over time you will have sunburns your face will start to become reddish. You're gonna have inflammation because it's too much. But that is totally up to you. You don't have to listen to me, right? So it's your choice if you wanna keep using it after two weeks. So <laughs> um, you can take a break. You can take, uh, when you use it for two weeks, you take a two weeks break, then you use it again. So the reason why I say to mix a very tiny quantity that will be enough for the two weeks or for the one week that you're using is because <clears throat> when hydroquinone tends to change color, um, hydroquinone tends to change color or anything that has steroids in it tend to, it, it will change color, it will turn brown or it will just have this dark, dirty looking color. But it does not mean that the lotion is not working. It does not mean that the lotion has, has spoiled. It just has oxidized or something. But it's still working. It's very powerful. But some people really don't like that. That's why I commend that just mix what you have to use at the moment. And also because sometimes when you mix too much, it tends to lose its power. Because it's just sitting there. And every time you're opening the thing, you're closing, you're opening, you're closing. So air gets into it and... It might not be as strong as it's supposed to be after two weeks but meantime please be very careful while you're using this so um hey may how are you i'm fine bella thank you have you tried golden face okay the chat just disappeared let me take my phone and go back um have you tried golden face beauty the set if you have not then you should i probably should i think uh sammy sammy's my plug by the way i think sammy did propose i tried golden face one time she proposed gold either golden face or miss miss white's face cream I, I will look into that and then dale says i got burned from a cream i used how do i repair my skin so i have a, a repair video if you go through my videos you will see a skin repair i have a three is a two series or two a two or three series skin repair that I made because I also used skin free milk wrongly and it, and it really did a number on my skin so I had to repair my skin as well oh wow Bella says I've been using it for over a month and I'm white I look mixed girl yes be careful though make sure you're using a lot lots of butter and you're using lots of collagen uh, infused lotions as well and you're wearing your sunscreen but yes you should join the whatsapp group and show us your progress baby girl um talia says the one week break should we use a non-bleaching hydrogen cream absolutely during your one week break what you will only use on your face is vitamin c and um, hyaluronic acid serums so during your break you will use your vitamin c serum you use a hyaluronic acid serum and you use jojoba oil on your face that is what i do so if you have any other oil or any other face moisturizer that works better for your skin i advise that you use you go ahead and use that during your break but make sure you are using um my nose rings oh, it keeps doing that but make sure you are using non light non bleaching products on your face when you are taking a break that way your skin takes time that your skin will catch up with everything so i just made a mess back here allow me to while i'm talking to you guys i'm just gonna try to clean that up so that i can show you guys the next thing that i had for you today and this next thing i'm just gonna tell you guys about it i'm not making it right now 
because it's something that when you make you have to use it immediately and i'm not making it right now so i'm just gonna show you guys or kind of like explain the procedure to you guys on how to do it because i've had uh, a couple of questions about that and i will also tell you what causes dark hands okay um my very one of my very first live videos i did talk about dark extremities hi joyce thanks for joining us i'm so happy you're here you guys joyce is part of the whatsapp group i love my my babies can i call you guys babies i'm sorry i know you're all grown i love my may skincare girls my may skincare ladies they are so helpful to each other they're so respectful um it's just the platform is wonderful i see you guys i watch i see i read what's going on i try to respond I try to go back and read all the chats that I miss and I try to respond to questions as well. And I can tell you that it's been, it's been formidable. It's been awesome. Um, you just see a group of like really grown up progressive women just sharing ideas and trying to help each other. And I love the fact that there's like, even before I can answer a question, um, someone else in the group chat has already helped to answer and kind of like propose things for other people to use. It's amazing. It's just, it's beautiful. They are, they are shells. Thank you so much for joining. And it's free of charge. I'm not charging anyone anything to join the WhatsApp group. If you go to the most recent live, you will see the link. You join using the link. Um, I didn't put the number, but I put the link. You join using that link and you're good to go. Join the family because myself, I am learning new things. I don't know everything myself. So yeah, we're just there to help one another. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is dark hands. And this is just for your hands. I'm going to talk about the feet later. So in one of my lives, I talked about your extremities being very difficult and you, you do not approach them the same way that you approach your inner body or your face. Every part of your body reacts to lotions and skincare routines differently. You guys, I need to be I need to be eating my my cake here. What was that? So when you some when you use lotion, um sometimes some part of your body they light faster than others. For instance, your face is the easiest, right? One week, a week and a half, two weeks, your face good to go the chest area is also another area that is very easy to lighten up you can lighten your chest your neck area your chest area for some people their neck is a little stubborn but the chest area your bosom area is very easy to lighten up meanwhile your back is a major problem right your your hand right here major problem the back of your hands your knuckles your elbows i till today i still have issues with this one elbow that has refused to you know get the understand the assignment because i burnt myself i went under the sun after exfoliating and this is what happened so when i'm when i'm warning you guys about the sun please listen to me thank you thank you joyce so um, how do you go about working on several parts of your bodies of your bodies? Yeah So the same way you treat your feet is it's not the same way you treat your face It's not the same way you treat your belly. It's not the same way you treat your chest or your back So I always say when you're exfoliating you need to put more emphasis on your on your extremities your hands and your feet because they are very very difficult your hands are even more difficult because Oh, it's just regular, it's just regular, um, um, cake. I'm trying to remember the flavoring that I used on the cake. I used vanilla flavor and then I put, um, strawberry coloring in there. Yeah, it's just plain cake. 
Mm, and please mention the name of the product to lighten the dark lady part again. Please, I'm three weeks postpartum and in pregnancy. I'm in private parts and nipples are looking at each other. Yeah. So for post for postpartum, you have to start exfoliating first before you use it. But it's called Epidem Cream. It's called Epidem Cream. It's a tube actually. Um, let me see if it's in here. I have my packet of tubes here that I was that I'm planning on showing you guys what to mix in your shea butter. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, it's not there. But you can go to any store. It's very common. It's quite common. Talia says, "Have you tried? Have you done a lactic acid peel on your elbow? It might help." Talia, I am a chicken. Um, I'll go ahead and explain. I have never put acid directly on my skin because I am a chicken and I'm very scared. Well, I mean, chicken is another word for being scared. <laughs> I have never put acid directly on my skin. Anytime that I use acids, I always mix it in something, always, because I'm very afraid. I'm not good with measurements. I'm just a hot mess. So I have never tried that, but maybe one day I will, I will have the, the heart to try it. Fingers crossed. So when it comes to your hand, what causes your hands to be very dark? Number one, house chores. You're doing the dishes, dish, dish wash, uh, dishwasher soap. Do you say dishwasher soap or dishwashing soap? Dishwasher soap. Detergent. Dish soap. You guys help me. Is it dishwasher soap? You know the soap you used to, to do the dishes, the liquid soap, not the ones that you put in the, in the washing machine. So those soaps will make your hands to become very, very dark. But here is another thing dish soap thank you mommy coffee thank you and today my head is not so one more thing that will make your hands very very dark and i'm saying this out of experience because my hands have become dark over the past couple of months and even more darker over the past couple of weeks and i will explain why so i found out that the hand soap that you use is very, very important when it comes to how your hands are looking. And when I'm saying this, I feel very, I feel very bad for anyone that's in healthcare because they have to use these types of soaps. And so their hands, it's just going to be an intense struggle with them and they really need to focus on blending their hands with their bodies because the the job that they do they have to con constantly wash their hands and everything it's not helping at all so i'm so sorry all my healthcare people i appreciate you all the work you're doing however this is just the reality that you have to deal with you know moving forward because some people don't understand they think that oh maybe the lotion they're using is not working for them maybe this is not working meanwhile it's just the soap the hand soap and my hands became if you look at a couple of videos ago my hands were looking very dark darker than my skin even now my hands are still looking darker than my skin but it's it's starting to get better um there's still a significant difference you see, if I put my hands on my chest, there's still a, a very significant difference. You can see it. And this is because I started using this disinfectant hand wash soap. Oh, man. I, I've been to the bedroom. I'm not sure why I didn't bring that soap. But it's a disinfectant hand washing soap that you can... It, they sell it at Walmart. I actually got it at Walmart. So that soap, I was using that soap. You know, when you're from the bath, the restroom, you wash your hands with soap and everything. And I started to notice that my hands were going dark. Look at my skin. Look at my hands. My hands started to go really, really dark. And I'm sitting here. I was like, what's going on? I know that I always wash my hand, 
Yes, and I think the, the the water in this apartment, they have really hard water. I need to find go online and find a filter for that water that will kind of like soften it a little. So I I usually use um bath and body work works hand soaps because they are very mild they're very good for your skin there was a time when my hands had no issues at all and that's because i was using bath and body works hand soap it was super good for my skin super mild just perfect but then i started using this disinfectant hand soap since covid and everything so you need like a really good hand washing soap to wash your hands which now that i'm now that i did my research you don't really need a disinfectant soap you just need regular soap to wash your hands and you're good to go so i got that disinfectant soap and i started using it i got the lavender and i got the the regular smell i think it was like apple or something it smells good it lathers really good it washes your hands every time I'm, I'm noticing my hands are getting so dark one day i <laughs> you will laugh at this one day i um i stood in front of the mirror and i did this my hands were so black I was like, oh my God, this looks like one of those pictures online that you see that lady that her body is nice, but her hands are so black. And she did this. It's like someone was kidnapping her because the hands were so dark and it looks different from her body. That's exactly what happened to me. And I did this. My hands were so dark. Even now, my hands are still dark, but it's, it's getting better. When I tell you it's getting better, it's getting better. So... I made a separate exfoliating solution just for my hands. And I'm going to show you that solution right now. So, and the day that I will be mixing that and doing it on my hands, I will also show you guys. Uh, okay, so what do I use to make that solution? I use um, this tube. I use Lemon Vape, pump the brakes. I know that this tube has a very bad reputation, but there's two types of Lemon Vape. There is the steroid Lemon Vape that was made in Nigeria, and then there's the original Lemon Vape that has no steroids and no hydroquinone. It only has vitamin C that you can get from Mitchell Brands. I know, and I would show you, let me go get that steroid lemon vape that is from Nigeria, and you will see the difference, even though they're almost identical, but not really. Let me just get it, you guys, I'll be back. it all right <clears throat> excuse me so this is a lemon vape from Mitchell's brand hmm? that has no hydroquinone no steroids yeah this is the Lemove that has steroids and hydroquinone. Peep the difference. Do you see the difference? So this one has clobetazole, steroids, heavy. This one is heavy on the steroids. This one is not. This one contains um, vitamin C. It says that it does not contain hydroquinone, but I'm very skeptical about that. I think it contains hydroquinone, but no drop of steroids. And it's very cheap. It was like $6 and some change. Okay. But if you cannot find this one from Mitchell Brands, because I know like if you're in some um, African countries where you can't find this, it's still okay. You can still use this steroid one because it's a wash off um, procedure. So the first thing you need is this tube right here. How are you going to use it? You're going to make an S 
exfoliating mask with it so if you want to use sea salt you can use sea salt if you want to use sugar you can use either white sugar or you can use brown sugar whatever works for you so what are you going to do you're going to take a tablespoon of sugar or sea salt whatever you want you're going to do five pumps of this lemon vape into the sugar you mix it properly and you're going to squeeze some lemon juice into that mixture and then you're gonna try some lemon zest so you take the lemon you squeeze a little juice or you you put some lemon zest in there and then you squeeze some lemon juice in there you mix it together you exfoliate your hand real nice and really get in there and scrub your hands in between your fingers just scrub it really really good scrub 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 and you let it sit for 25 minutes. You will not use your hands for 25 minutes. Just if your hands are super duper bad, stick them in gloves. Or if you can stick them in gloves because you want the product to stay on, take a serene wrap and wrap your hands. Wrap your hands, wrap them real nice, wrap them tight, and then put it in a pair of socks and wait for 25 minutes okay when you're done when you want to wash it off do not use warm water do not use hot water wash your hands with cold water room temperature water that's what you use to wash your hands don't take water from the refrigerator as well just you tap water cold water you wash your hands with it that's the first part the second part what are you going to need for the second part you will need carrots you will need carrots and you will need lemon juice and you will need lemon zest so what are you going to do you're going to blend these carrots without any water the water you use to blend the carrot the liquid you use to blend the carrot because carrots are very dry you would that water will come from your lemon. So you will squeeze lemon juice into your mixer and you blend this carrot nice and smooth, okay? Then you take a little bit of um, turmeric, you put it in there. And also you can put turmeric in your sugar mixture as well, in your scrub mixture, but that's totally up to you. So you put a little bit of turmeric, you mix it, right? And then you rub it on your hand. It's almost like lotion type of solution, but not really. So you rub it on your hand, rub it, and then you stay for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you wash your hands again with cold water, and then you use a natural oil. Sweet almond oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, whatever you want to use so um talia says how many times a week should we do this okay if your hands are very very bad i suggest that you do it every day for one week first and then the next week you start doing it three times a week so if your hands are super duper bad do it every day for one week and then the next week you start doing three times a week if your hands are not very bad you can do it three times a week so that's how you treat dark hands i will come back with a mixture for dark feet remind you this is for dark hands not knuckles there is a difference this is when your whole hand is black not knuckles it will work on your knuckles as well but it's not a knuckle treatment okay so i'm gonna come back with what to do with dark feet because the mixture is totally different but meantime yeah you can use lemovate i'm gonna make a mixture of this and we'll see how it goes but if you have this one with the steroid it's still okay you can still use it because it's a wash off product right it's not gonna do anything because you only leave it on your skin for 25 minutes and then you wash it off so it's still good all right you guys do you have any questions for me before i continue
I don't do anything for my knuckles. I just scrub them vigorously. But sorry, but um, I did talk about a mixture for knuckles, which is a tube and a soap. But for my knuckles, I really don't do anything for my knuckles. I just really scrub them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to check the group. Can I miss Carotone with Nivea face cream? Actually, you can you can you can miss Carotone with any natural cream that you want. Mm, let me go back. I'm sorry, you guys. I think I was missing your, your chats. Mm. Wait, so you do something? Okay, I already answered that. So Shell says, how did you get a yellow on the tone? Some people look orange forever. You just keep going. When I started, I had a very orange undertone. And if you go look at my very, very old videos, you can see it. I had an orange undertone. Orange undertones are, people with orange undertones, they're, they're, those are the, the most stubborn skins ever. Because it, it takes a while. The skin is usually very stubborn and very sensitive at the same time. It doesn't even make any sense. But yeah, I kept going. I kept going. I did not stop. I was taking my supplements and if you have an orange undertone, you need supplements so that it's while you're doing your lotions and everything outside, you're also working on the inside as well. You absolutely need supplements. Um, you need vitamin C, you need milk thistle, you need your collagen, you need your hyaluronic acid, you need uh, glutathione. What in your in in the very beginning you absolutely need glutathione, but if you achieve results, you don't need to keep up with the glutathione because I know that it can get expensive, and you also need even in prime rolls. So you, if you have an orange undertone, you absolutely need supplements to add on top of your the regimen that you have right now. So um, I'm gonna show you guys glow oil. Oh, I think I missed a. I missed a question. Um, May, are you still using the fair and white? If yes, how do you like it? Oh, yeah. That's a good question. You guys, I have not actually uh, mixed my fair and white yet. I am using, right? I did use the fair and white just the lotion itself for like a week or so and then i dumped it because i wanted to use a glow oil so i made a glow oil which is what i will be showing you right now it's what i have been using and after this glow oil i'm gonna use my fair and white i know i'm jumping back and forth things but i will keep you guys updated but i'm gonna show you the glow oil that i'm using um and then after this, when I, because I, I really want to hit a setting shade, I want to go back to what I was in like August. So when I hit that mark, then I will start using the fair and white and see what happens. But my skin was really going downhill that I needed something and something that works quick. <laughs> mm. Why do some people get really dark lips? That's because they put their lotions on their lips. <laughs> Sometimes some people just have naturally dark lips. Right? Some people have naturally dark lips. Some people smoke. Some people, their lips get burned because when they want to use their face creams, instead of, instead of them of, instead <laughs> Instead of doing this, hmm, apply your cream. They just apply their cream even on top of their lips and their lips get burnt. 
so when you want to apply your face cream especially this mixture that i just showed you guys today make sure it's not touching your lips do this apply your face cream and other times it's just natural i know that some people smoke but other times it's just natural especially people that are that are really they have like a, a deep undertone they have like a deep brown undertone their lips are naturally uh black and so yes they don't scrub their lips too absolutely absolutely italian so you have to scrub your lips and scrubbing your lips does not mean that you have to take time to go to the bathroom just to scrub your lips i scrub my lips almost every day when i brush my teeth i take my toothbrush mm, 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 mm. that's it but when i really want to treat my lips i have a mixture i have my my sugar um my sugar my vitamin c and my food coloring that i mix together you know use it on there and then i have a few oils that i put in there i put my sweet almond oil my jojoba oil and my rosehip oil put it and use use it on my lips and really scrub my lips right i do that twice a week but then every other day when i'm brushing my teeth twice a day i take my toothbrush and i just do that i pass it on my lips gently you don't want to bruise your lips pass it on my lips and then i have my um lip tint that i made i'll be showing you guys in my next couple you guys i'm sorry i got a call someone called me <laughs> so yeah um every day i would just scrub my lips and everything and then i apply yes someone called me talia i swear to god people. <laughs> at least they waited towards the end before calling me so that's a good thing so I'm just going to get, so I had to get off the Wi-Fi real quick before it starts blurry, blurry now on me. All right. Here is the glow oil mixture. I, I missed a question from someone. Did, um, <laughs> Joy is true. Coffee will make your lips super dark. Uh, Talia says, the shade you had three months ago was right i'm trying to get back up there i'm really trying to get back up there mommy coffee is asking can you mix glow oil with serums mommy coffee glow oil is primarily serums glow oil is serums that's why i'm saying there's so much lies telling on the internet on youtube i cannot stand it glow oil is serums oils and carrier oils that is it there is no nothing else i have a i have an already i have a um, a video of a glow oil but that's a different recipe the one i'm about to show you now is a different recipe altogether so this will make my second glow oil mixture but if you want a, a nice mild glow oil you can go uh you can go and check the video that i already have of glow oils and then you will see that mixture right there so this glow oil this mixture that i'm about to show you i'm gonna give you guys a very hefty disclaimer on this mixture because this mixture is very very strong i've only used it maybe for like two weeks or so and you can see my skin is picking back up i'm gonna use it for a couple i'm gonna use it all of this week and then i'll take a break and then I continue after two weeks because this right here, this right here. <clears throat> okay. So this is the mixture. This is a glow oil mixture. I did want to shake it before I show you guys because I wanted you to really see. So you see how it's separated? This is totally normal. Totally normal. Yes, Mommy Coffee, you need to rewatch it. So this one right here i know that this is some of my carrier oils that just separated and it's just hanging up there like that and then these are all serums and other oils i have that where is that oil you guys i think i'm missing a few oils the the ones that i have on there they're not the complete i have where is that skin series oil that i had right now okay you guys, give me a second. Let me go get the rest of the... I don't think everything is here. 
as usual, I forgot to put it. Oh. You guys, the craziest thing just happened. I just found my carotone that I was looking for. <laughs> You guys, I literally just had that beauty series oil in my hand. Oh, are you kidding me right now? I found everything that I needed. Now I'm missing that one. Oh, Try not to curse. Let me check in here. It. I found it. Yay. Okay. False alarm. Never mind that. Okay. And you will not believe that I also found the carotone I was desperately looking for. And guess what? It was right in front of me. When I'm when I'm all hyped up, when I start getting nervous, I I just lose my sense of sight. I, I can't see anything. <laughs> exactly, Talia. And it's so frustrating. Isn't that frustrating? Ugh. It's just something that I cannot deal. Okay. Alright. So I have a ton of stuff over here. I will have to, you guys, I will, we will have to mix, remix that face lotion again and add the carotone in it. All right, so for this glow oil, ladies, fair disclaimer for this glow oil. I should not even call it a glow oil. It's not a glow oil. It's a bleaching oil. So, you want to be very careful with this one. Um, I'm known to take risk for my skin. Um, so, I... Yeah, so you want to be very careful with this one. So, um, I'm going to start showing you the oils one after another. It's a lot of oils. This is my most expensive glow oil mixture. It's super expensive. You will need about $300 to pull this off, just so you know. All right. 
So for the serums, cause glow oil consists, I break my glow oils into three parts. I break, I got a call again, I'm sorry you guys. So I break my glow oils into three parts. Um, I, it's divided into serums, oils, carrier oils, and well, four parts, maintenance oils. So let me, okay, I had to turn off the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna show you the oils, or I'm gonna show you the serums, then I'm gonna move to the oils, and then I'm gonna move to, I'm gonna tell you the carrier oils, and then um, I'm gonna tell you the anti-reaction products that I put in there, because glow oils are very strong, and with a strong mixture like this, you need a good anti-reaction product in there. So the first serum, that i that i put in the glow oil it's all the other serums that i showed you guys that i was supposed to use for the fair and white mixtures it's basically the same serums that i use so the first serum is my glutathione vitamin c um concentrated anti-spot is my uh, glutathione blanchisseur no this is not the blanchisseur this is just the serum and you will see the liquids are looking different because when i'm mixing my stuff i need to get everything out of there so i will take this i will take a more watery serum put it in a thicker bottle of serum like this and shake and shake and pour it just to get everything out of there so these are not the real colors because i've just poured stuff in there to get it out i think this was my this was my carrot oil that I poured in there just to get everything out. So I put the entire bottle. You don't want to be stingy, okay, ladies? Um, so this is a mixture that will last me for a very long time. And glow oils, oils are mixtures that will never lose their power because they don't have, they're not water-based or anything. They're oil-based products, so they will never lose their power. They will not oxidize or anything like that. So you can mix it a huge quantity as you want the only thing is that make sure you're 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 cutting it into tiny pieces to you so you're not opening and closing two times a day you know so this is the first serum right here okay the second serum is also a serum that i've spoken to you guys about this is the rapid white whitenizer this serum is the bomb again this is a very strong mixture if you're not looking to bleach your skin please exit left so you will need this this is an anti um it says is anti spots um anti acne anti aging is um lightening and it's also anti stretch marks it says it brightens and beautifies the skin in seven days and this is 60 ml so you put the entire thing. No, I use glow oil by myself, by itself, Tally. I don't mix it in anything. So you put the entire thing. So that is the second one. The third thing will be my 10 Diamond uh, Glutathione com Comprimate Concentrate. Again, it looks pink inside, but we all know that Glutathione comprimate is not pink, right? It looks pink because I poured oils and other things and shook, shook to pour it in because I, I needed everything out of there. So you will need your glutathione comprimate tent diamond. You need one full. So there are two types of glutathione comprimate. There's a tent diamond and there's a glutathione comprimate scent. So between glutathione comprimate and glutathione comprimate tent diamond, go for tent diamond do not go for the glutathione comprimate because it does not work anymore just like pimandu glutathione comprimate has lost its power the quality has dropped drastically so do not buy that go for ten diamond and i will i will link down below um the link to the whatsapp group if you're interested in this product sami sells them she's my plug i introduce her everywhere she has the originals you can get it from her especially if you're in the us because most of these products you're not gonna find them so you need one ten diamond as well the next thing that you need is glutacy concentrate i'm using the yellow one as you can see you need glutacy concentrate right there 
you need the entire bottle so i find that this yellow one is stronger than the pink one i don't know why that's just that's just what i think okay the next thing that you will need is your um potion ecclesiastes for this is the next thing you need um and again this one there's a lot of fakes i will honestly advise that if you can find the original please get it if you can contact sammy to get the original please do it this is what it looks like on the inside it is oil and this also works for your extremities as well so you're gonna need that you guys please pay attention because it's a lot of things that I'm, i will not like to come back and reread everything <laughs> okay so the next Low, um serum that you will need is gluta white you will need your gluta white serum this gluta white smells really good i still have some in there mm, it smells nice it has this nice smell so you need your gluta white serum um, I was sleeping on this serum. A friend of mine told me about this serum a long time ago, but I was sleeping on it until I came back. I was like, you know what, let me try it. And he's like, okay, so you need your Gluta White Serum. Um, What other serum are you going to need? You will need skin-free milk, and you have to be very careful. Your skin-free milk you are not putting half the bottle you are not even measuring by bottle you are measuring by tablespoons because this is very strong so you will put three tablespoons of your skin free milk do not pour the entire bottle i've seen videos of people doing glow oil or bleaching oil and they're pouring the entire bottle please don't do that to yourself use three tablespoons maximum four tablespoons do not go over it i beg you okay so you have your skin free milk and then you have your alpha abutin concentrate so this concentrate right here this is one of the very first concentrate that i showed you guys and this concentrate is very um very strong yes i did joyce it, it really did a number on my skin so now i'm using it but i'm very careful if I had my way, I would not even use it, but the glow oil is more potent with it. So I'm just going gradually with tablespoons because I don't want that to repeat itself. So this is the Alpha Abutin Concentrate, three days white. This one has papaya in it. I always go for plant-based products and it is pink. It's super pink. That's why you see the glow oil has this orange undertone because this is pink pinkish orange i don't know it has a papaya color okay so you will need one full bottle of this all right i'm trying to separate the things that i've i've showed you guys and then no that's vitamin c okay well, that's vitamin e hold on all right am i done with the serums i think i am Okay, now we're going to move to the oils that we put, that I put in the glow oil, okay? I put two types of Labigenese oil. Okay, so I put this Labigenese oil, the entire thing, and then I put half of this Labigenese oil with the carrots in it. This one has carrots. Um, this one is a brightening oil. This one is a bleaching oil. So you see the difference? So I put both of us in there. And let me ask you, is there a glow oil? Is it even a glow oil if there's no white now in it? I'll wait. <laughs> it's not a glow oil if there's no white now in it, right? You guys, I have my hair on the bottle. That is that is disgusting. <laughs> so, yeah, thank God I got it out. Right, Talia? So, there is no glow oil if there is no white now. So, you use an entire bottle of white now. I don't know why I was leaving all these products in there, but you know what? I'm going to go back in 
and get all of them out <laughs> so i'm gonna show you the two foundation oils one is white now and the other is l'huile bio traitante if you look at everybody that makes um glow oil and you know that this person knows what they're doing you're gonna see these two oils there they never miss out on these two this these two they are the foundation of glow oils you need these two if you cannot get anything that i've showed you you need these two and when i'm telling you that you can try to replace your serums with other serums but you cannot replace this two absolutely not you need it okay so this one is it's a carrot based product and it also it lightens your hands and your feet it has too much carrot extract in it and it is very very strong saying produit eclaircissant is super duper strong all right and so the next oil oh i showed you guys two oils already the next oil that i'm gonna show you where is the skin series oil okay the next oil is the skin series oil, the beauty series skin oil. Skin series oil. I have two of this and I used one. I used one entirely. So you need an entire skin free, um, what was it? Beauty series oil, sorry. Um, Joyce, what's the name? It's called beauty series oil. That's what it's called. This is very expensive girl i use in fact everything amounted to like 1000 ml so i have like two of this 500 ml bottles because it didn't even fit it was a lot it was a lot i'll tell you that <laughs> so beauty series oil is very expensive it's almost 40 dollars before tax or after tax i'm not sure but it's super expensive i think i miss i need to follow your comments quick before i lose them Mm, let's see. Are you using fabric because how everything fit inside a bottle? There's so much. Right, it's so much. It was a lot of product. <laughs> okay, Joyce, the oil with the white now. Um, Joyce, don't worry. I'll put it on. I'll put it on the group. If there's any oil here that you think you don't remember the name just let me know i will put it on the group chat i would i will actually link it because i know i got this off of ebay it's called uh carandeuse l'huile bio traitante carandeuse so yeah i will link i will put it or link it in the in the in the group chat okay the other oil that i put in there if i can reach it is pour jaune glutathione vita glutathione ampoule this is a very strong serum it's super good this is very rare and the quantity oh my god is big it's a very big bottle you're welcome joyce it's a very big bottle you will get this from Sami. If you're part of the group, please link up with Sami. She's gonna give you good prizes for this. She has originals straight from Cameroon, my country, which is where this particular product is made. So reach out to her and get this. So you need an entire bottle of potion. Um, no, I did not use that one. For the oil, again, you will need Ash Vin de Joux. I have, I have a full video about this oil, this, the whole collection, the whole line. So you're going to need this Ash Vin de Joux right there. Um, this is the papaya one. It has aloe vera. It has cucumbers. It has papaya, it has carrots, but I decided to go with the papaya oil. So this, I put the 
I put half of this in there. And then, um, let me see what else I'm missing. There's one more thing. Gosh, please don't tell me I left it out. Okay, it's right in front of me, you guys. Oh, Joyce, no. <laughs> I'm not Nigeria. I'm Cameroonian, my darling. Yeah, Cameroonian to the core. Okay, so you will need, I think I've shown you this serum before. This is a very, very good serum. You need glutathione blanchisseur. I use the soap. The soap is amazing. The serum is just something else. You need the serum in your glow oil. Um, I had two and I used one, the entire bottle. So this is the other one that is left. It's very yellow in color. That's what it looks like. And I got it for twelve dollars, so you might get it, you might get it a little expensive online, like sixteen dollars because of shipping and everything. But yeah. Okay, and then the next thing that I did add. Nope, not that one. I did put my glycerin in there. I put my fair and white, um, exclusive white tonizer glycerin in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing I also put was my carotone oil, my carotone brightening. The list is long. When I tell you this oil is very strong and expensive, I meant it. So you also put carotone brightening oil in there. This oil contains kojic acid, which is what really caught my attention. It contains propylene glycol, carrot extract, collagen, uh, 2% hydroquinone, but we both know it's more than that. And then it contains a uh, kojic acid and um, Fitre Soleil. It has sun protection, sunscreen. I don't believe that, but okay. So you put this one as well. I put my carotone in there as well. So I'm trying to see if I touched on everything. Uh, I touched on everything. So now we're going to move on. We're going to move on to the anti-reaction products that I put in there the first anti-reaction product that I put was some vitamin E oil by 2% they mean 20% girl girl <laughs> oh my god Talia is a mood oh my gosh I love you <laughs> so we're gonna put a good amount of vitamin E oil we need like 20 or 30 drops because this mixture is very, very strong. So we'll put vitamin E oil. We'll put some collagen serum in there. Okay. And then I also put some bio oil. Bio oil always has to be in your glow oil because baby, this oil will... <sighs> This thing will do a number on your skin. The oils are so strong, so you need to protect your skin. I put bio oil in there. Okay, the next thing that I put was my Herbal Skin Doctor Stretch Mark Anti Stretch Mark Ampoules. Oh, sure. I'm trying to. If if I can succeed to get it out of the pack, that would be great. So this is what they look like. My Stretch Mark Ampoules. Sammy sells this. I don't know if she still has it. It was like $50 or so, but Sammy sells it. And it's constantly sold out. Hey, Kimmy Boo. It's constantly sold out on eBay. But um, I think Sammy, Sammy should have it. You guys, my nose ring is super uncomfortable. I don't know. So this is what the pack looks like. You want to get this pack right here. You would pour from two upwards. But this my mixture it was like 1,000 ml. It was a lot, so I put six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is your other anti-reaction product that you need. The next anti-reaction product that you need is Bactrim capsules. Right here. So I did crush two, two of the capsules, one, so as you can see, and put it in the glow oil. All right, the next thing you will need, which I do not have the bottle, I do not have the container because I dumped it. You will need a uh, good Emma, 
if you go back and watch my anti-reaction products you will see good emma bioclay oil as an oil that is an option actually i do have bioclay oil right here that is an option but for you to be able to use bioclay you will want to replace bioclay with carotone so you either use bioclay or use carotone don't use both of them at the same time um so i buy most of my products from sami and then i buy some of them from mitchell brands i buy some of them from ebay girl i'm all over the place but most of them is from sami um if i buy 10 products i buy seven from from sami then i buy two from ebay then i buy one from mitchell brands that's how i do it she's my real life superwoman she just she needs a skincare she needs a bleaching cream cape <laughs> that girl has saved my life <laughs> okay so where did i end okay so you need that good emma i will advise that you go back and watch my i will advise that you go back and watch my anti-reaction videos which I should link it here you guys it's my i'm looking at my other phone and it's very blurry it must be the wi-fi so i'm gonna go back and try to put the link to that video the anti um anti cream reaction um products give me a second you guys so bottom line just go and buy everything that's in this video that, that i'm about to link that i'm about to put in the comments and use it in this glow oil every anti-reaction product that's in this video buy it and use it in this in this glow oil okay so i'm gonna pin that I'm gonna pin that for a few. It's very clear as the morning. Okay, thank you. So, watch that video. Buy everything that I show you on there, and and put it in your glow on. All right. So those are just the anti-reaction parts. Now we're gonna move on to. All right. Thank you, ladies. All right, I was getting worried. So now we're going to move on to the carrier oils. I'm just going to list the oils that I use because I did write it down in my book. So I'm going to list those for you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do you see the list? Two pages. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, so I forgot. I, I'm just seeing this on this list. Okay, so I also put Giga White. My Giga White, I got it from Lotion Crafters. So it's liquid and I also put it in there. So I put two tablespoons of Giga White. <laughs> I know, it's like we, we all need someone, right? My ladies need me. I need you guys need me. I need Sammy. It's just it's just a nice beautiful circle. <laughs> so, um I already said bio oil, right? Okay. And I already said vitamin E. Ladies, do you have a list? I hope you're writing this down because I digress a lot and I don't want to get you all confused. I don't want to put you all in my confusion. Okay, so here are the carrier oils that you need. You need bio oil, you need avocado oil, you need vitamin E oil, I already said that. You need sweet almond oil, you need olive oil, carrot oil, castor oil, okay? And then you need vegetable glycerin, very little quantity and like i said before in previous videos i put lactic acid and propylene glycol in everything so we're not gonna end 
without I'm not gonna end without not telling you to add lactic acid and propylene glycol in there so put a generous amount of propylene glycol because you really want this product to your skin to absorb how many tablespoons of each oils girl because this oil is super strong you need like four tablespoons of each or five tablespoons you need enough oils in there because this is, this is a very strong mixture so you can put five tablespoons of propylene glycol especially with the quantity that i just showed you guys but if you are splitting your serums into into two then you will use less oils and you will use less propylene glycol and less lactic acid i put seven tablespoons of lactic acid in this entire mixture because it was like 1000 milligrams of oils it was a lot i'm gonna use this maybe till the end of this year so yeah that is it and like I said, always write your stuff down because that's what I do. I wrote down everything. So you see, the list is very long. All right, my darlings. Let's go back and mix that carotone into that face cream, okay? I'm going to look for the one because I have two of them. I have I had already started using one and then one is brand new. So, okay, this one is still brand new. I need the other one that I had not used, that I've already started using. yes yes super duper effective girl super duper effective so i'm gonna put my carotone black spot corrector into the face cream so because i have had this open for some time it has changed colors you see what i was telling you about steroid and hydroquinone anything it has turned brown so by the time i mix it in this lotion after one week this lotion will also change colors but we don't care all right so this is our original lotion in this itty bitty cup right here so we're gonna add some very little quantity um carotone i'm just trying to mix it properly because some of it has some of it is left on the surface and has changed color so i'm trying to evenly i'm trying to mix everything okay okay it is well mixed in there okay so i'm gonna take it off and i wish i had like a very tiny spatula that would really be nice because this is a waste of product I usually use like a popsicle stick, but I don't know. I think I lost, I broke all my popsicle sticks. So I'm gonna put a little into this mixture right here. This is the quantity that I'm putting. Because I want it to be very, I want it to be super effective. So this is a quantity, but if you don't want it to be super strong, you put half of this. So I'm gonna mix that. You see immediately this lotion will change color immediately you see the difference mm -mm -mm. and mind you even if your face cream changes color it does not mean that it's not working it is working oh i tell you it is working it just happens to change color because it's too strong and it has steroids in it but it's working you best believe it is so i think this is the last thing i'll be showing you guys today oh i have one more thing to show you before i go you guys i don't know if i'll be able to upload this video <sighs> because it's super long it's almost two hours Okay, so you see how the color has already changed now it looks like clay if you look at it right now almost has the color of like bentonite clay <laughs> okay i don't think it's properly mixed 
I might have to put it back in the in this cup right here. Oh my god, I need to go back to write down everything. <laughs> it's very long, Sandra, so I don't know. If you are part of the WhatsApp group, don't worry. I will write everything for you guys. You guys are my peeps. For anyone that missed this live video, I am so sorry. I don't think I'll be able to upload it because it's super duper long. But if you join the WhatsApp group, I might put everything on there. Okay, so it's properly mixed. Put it back in the container. You guys, I'm really up for a drink. I flicked some on my body. Do you see that? Mm, thank you. This I'm cooking, but I'm sitting down watching and listening. No problem, Mommy Coffee. It's my pleasure. Mommy Coffee, are you part of the WhatsApp group? Okay. All right. So finished product looks a little brownish because we added the carotone. That is good. Oh, okay. You have not you've not put any message yet. Okay, that's good then. So if you're part of the WhatsApp group, do not worry. I will write down everything on there. But ladies. Whenever I come on here and I'm giving a I'm giving a recipe, always have a pen and a paper, cause I digress a lot. So have a pen and a paper and just jot down things. So I'm gonna show you guys something that I bought off of Mitchell's brand that I just wanna try. I'm not overly certain, but it's it's just a regular moisturizer. So I have. I, I did explain to you guys that one of my favorite lines on the Fair & White is Fair & White Exclusive, Fair & White Original. Um, those are the two that I've ever used. And I'm about to use, well, I have used Fair & White, so I, um, the tubes, I've used the tubes a lot. I'm about to use the, the lotion and the cream, and I'll let you guys know. But those are the three in the line that I'm very familiar with and I really love. And out of those three, my favorite is and will always be Fair & White Exclusive. I use the tubes all the time. Um, this is a tube right here. This one has hydroquinone. Oh, mommy coffee, don't worry. I'll put it in the WhatsApp chat. <laughs> so this one is the Fair & White exclusive tube. This one has hydroquinone. Ouch. This is what it looks like. And this one, it also has vitamin C. The one with vitamin C has a little orange there. And it also has a high level of hydroquinone. Super expensive. It's like $16 for this tiny thing. And then you have the tube that does not have hydroquinone. This is a non-hydroquinone one. And this one was super cheap. It was like $7. And it's slight, it's bigger. It's slightly bigger so this is what it looks like so I'm just gonna put them side by side so these are the packs side by side you see hydroquinone non hydroquinone hydroquinone non hydroquinone okay so I'm gonna put the tubes side by side now Hydroquinone, non-hydroquinone, hydroquinone, non-hydroquinone. As you can see, they are still brand new. I have not touched them. See, it's still sealed. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's still very much sealed. Um, I don't know if this one will be sealed as well. Okay, this one is still sealed because you have to like puncture it. You have to poke it so it comes out. So it's still very much sealed. I can press it and... Oh! Okay, pardon me. You don't have to poke, you don't have to poke it. 
you just have to press it and it'll come out <laughs> where do i put this oh my gosh all right i'm just gonna put this in the back of my hand i'm not tossing that away okay all right oh it's warm that's how you know a cream has hydroquinone they're always very warm hydroquinone creams when you rub them on your body the warm even steroid creams steroid creams are hot especially those bad ones super hot okay so what i said i was gonna try that i wanted to show you guys was this i have already used the lotion that contains hydroquinone it was super good but it was very strong and it gave me stretch marks and also i did not know how to wear sunscreen so there's that but now i want to try the moisturizer I got this from Mitchell Brands. This does not have any hydroquinone in it. Nothing. It only has vitamin. Ow. It only has vitamin C. So I have two things that I have to try and let you guys know. One of them is Fair and White, So White, the lotion, Skin Perfector. I have to try that with my serums and everything. And then I have to try this Fair and White exclusive white denizer moisturizer with vitamin c and no hydroquinone so yeah that's what i wanted to show you guys and as for these tubes i'm gonna put them in my body my whitening body butter which is something that we will do some other day if your skin is very complicated and very sensitive i suggest that you don't buy any base lotion you use butters as your base lotion butters are very versatile i don't know who said that you cannot mix tubes or serums into your butters you very much can and i will prove to you guys that you can i my butters i put everything in my butters i put tubes i put all my tubes in my butters the highest places that i use tubes are in my butters because the butters, they're super nice for your skin. They're super strong. The tubes are super strong, so they balance each other out. Your tubes are not going to go crazy on you because the butters have trying to like kill a significant part of it. So, yeah. Um, the tubes that I'm going to use for my body butter, I'm just going to show you guys. So, I have these two exclusives. I'm going to use So White. Um, fair and white so white skin perfecto i'm gonna use fair and white original i'm gonna use the fair and white so white skin perfecto gel so this is the lotion and this is the gel so i'm gonna use both of them um I'm gonna use my papaya enzyme brightening cream with aloe vera. I have a lot of videos about this tube as well. And then I'm gonna use my Neoprozone vitamin C. I'm gonna put it close to me because it seems like you can see it when there's a darker background. I'm gonna use Neoprozone vitamin C. Okay right there i didn't think this one was pretty clear enough this is what this one looks like i got this off of Mitchell brands i got all these tubes off of, off of Mitchell brands and then what is that one tube i'm gonna use 55 h plus paris uh ultra efficacité extreme i'm gonna use this all of these serums all of these tubes mind you do not contain steroids they only contain hydroquinone okay i'm gonna use that um i'm gonna use this is strange but yes um i'm gonna use caro white no you cannot use the butter mix on your face as long as you put tubes in it and everything you cannot use it on your face so i'm gonna use caro white tube caro white tube does not contain steroid or anything it just contains a very it has a very concentrated amount of hydroquinone so i'm gonna use caro white tube 
Um, what else am I gonna use? I am going to use Miracle Dem because it is an antibacterial thing. So I'm gonna use. No, I don't use the glow oil on my face. No glow oil on the face, baby. You use that glow oil on your face, it will rip your face into two. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions that I can answer. Please ask me all your questions because I am so tired and I will not be able to get to the chat like immediately. I might get to the chat like a few hours later. So please ask me your questions. So I can answer, okay? You guys, did I show you um how my stretch mark is progressing? Remember, we did we used the demo pen. <laughs> Remember, we used the demo pen. Um. So let me show you. This is what the stretch marks are looking now. They are healing quick. It's no longer looking red. They are healing quickly. Yes, Joyce, they're super expensive. So the stretch marks are looking good. We will do a few more sessions and then we can really review that demo pen. Right? They've gotten better. Honestly. And I saw I saw someone complain in the group that or I don't know if it was the group or the video that they used the demo pen and they had hyperpigmentation. That is the process. Let me tell you how mine went. If you're part of the WhatsApp group, I did post it. You guys saw, you ladies, you saw it. My skin was super red. And after that, it became darker. It became browner. Because I was, I kind of like bruised my skin. So it did become brown. And that was the healing process. That was my skin trying to remember that, hey, something is happening here. We need to produce more collagen to heal her skin. We need to produce more skin to heal her bruises or whatever and so it got a little darker and then the next thing it started to peel off okay it started to peel off it's still in the process of peeling it's not peeled completely but i guarantee you if you look at my stretch marks from the day that i did that and now it's looking slightly better so by the time i'm at the fourth or fifth session it's gonna it's, it will really blend into my skin. Stretch marks will never go away. They will just blend into your skin. Also, if you're just joining us and you're not part of the WhatsApp group, I will link it down in the chat. Copy link. Guys, if you want to be a part of the group, Please join the WhatsApp group using this link right here. Okay. If replace pinned message. Okay. I have painted. Chemical pills. Yes. And I will suggest you use like peeling lotions. I would not advise that you use acids directly on your skin. But I would advise that you use like, you know, the orange peeling lotion. I have a peeling lotion that I always use from Le Fleur Skin, something, something on Instagram. Uh, you can check it out. I have a video on that. So I will peel my skin. And then when you peel your skin, you have to let your skin recover. And then you start your process all together, exfoliating and everything. Yeah. Mm 
all right you guys i think it was beautiful being with you all today my skin looks my skin looks good i'm looking at myself on my phone right now and i'm like my skin looks good <laughs> a few days ago i had severe lithorexia i was like my skin does not look nice i feel like i'm going dark my skin but my skin looks freaking good oh my gosh thank you talia mommy coffee <laughs> mommy coffee said that's why we're watching you <laughs> I was having major lithorexia. I was like, oh my gosh, my skin is not shiny, you know? I don't, I don't like this. But now that I'm looking at it, it really looks good. And I'm not using any lighting. I swear, I'm not using any lighting. I'm not using anything. This is just, I'm just sitting in the living room. Let me show, let me see what my skin will look like when I turn on the, the ring light. Okay. This is what your favorite YouTubers do. I don't even know. Hold on. This is not the right lights. I see these things, they switch lights to make the bodies look a little. Aha. Uh -huh. This is the one that we use. You see that? I have, the, what's that thing that they always say? Glass skin. Ah. Oh. The things people do on the internet. So, that's what your favorite YouTubers do. Super bright okay so yeah thank you guys so much for being on this live with me today i know it's gone super duper long but i love you all oh and one more thing i wanted to show you guys my armpits they're getting brighter i'm so i'm sorry i'm so excited you know the gratifying feeling when you're doing something and it's working, right? You just you're just so happy. I'm so happy. Look at my pits. Remember several live videos ago, I showed you guys my pits and they were they were darker than this. But now my pits they're catching up. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I have to go out for drinks later today. All right, you guys. I love you. I will see you on the whatsapp group thank you all for being here with me thank you talia mommy coffee joyce thank you ladies so much um i will not be able to do this without you guys all right have a wonderful day bye